Hey guys, what's going on? Dace here, and today I've got the next episode of Dragoon, which some of you may have noticed is, uh, yeah, an insanely short duration. Um, and there's going to be a bit of an explanation as to why. But anyway, this is going to be the final episode of this Let's Play, for the time being anyway. So, long story short... Um, and the reason I wanted to actually jump in and do a few minutes of just chatting was to kind of bask in the visuals and everything one last time. Um, but yeah, the story goes after the what would have been the last episode I recorded. I went to record the next one. <clears throat> and yeah, we started off here, of course, where we left off. And what happened was no matter where I went, like other than just like roaming around, uh, in this initial area, and I just want to... Ooh, acquired Stardust. That's the last time you're going to hear the Stardust noise. Um, but yeah, anyway, long story short, I attempted to go into every single possible um, entry point, whether it's like a, a room in a building, or just like down this path, for instance, or like up into this structure, or even... Um, yeah, like some of the rooms over there. Uh, this, of course, leaves the area, and you can go onto the the world map, but of course it's a dead end because we just finished disc one. Um, so, like, technically I could be, like, fighting monsters and stuff. But anyway, what happened was, no matter where I go, um, it just kind of puts me onto a black screen where nothing is loading. Either that or just boots me right out of the game. And I have no idea why that is uh, the case. Now, as I said, I can go onto the world map, but I can't re-enter this, uh, this village or this city after the fact. It does the same thing where it goes to a black screen or boots me from the game. So the only thing I can really show you is um, just like kind of like roaming around, just exploring and, of course... Man, the water, the sounds of the water, the, the incredible blues that they selected, just the, the animation of it, everything looks so inviting here. And of course the music is just incredible. Of course we can talk to people. Most of the land in Tipperow is barren. I've had a dream from childhood to make it just like our neighboring city, Donau. I might have even chatted with that guy last time at the end of the episode. The royal family of Tipperow has two princesses. Yeah, who gives a shit? The other thing that does function is triggering this event. So this is literally like the last um, plot-related development that I can possibly show you guys at this point. I smell the ocean from this river. It's close to the sea. <clears throat> is anything wrong with the bridge? It says Claire Bridge. It's the same name as my mom. Oh, my runaway daughter is named Claire, too. There may be some secret connection between us. Pay close attention to that, peeps. It's impossible to have such a coincidence. I agree with you. Let's say the population of Endiness continent is about 1 million and 550,000 are women. According to the statistics of the Royal Personal Authority, 4% of all women have the name Claire. It means from a statistical point of view. Just looking tells it all. They don't look like each other at all. Hmm, indeed. Cranioscopically speaking, the distance between their skull, eyeballs, and also their jawbones are... Let's go. He won't finish talking until dusk. So that's that. Um, we can talk to this guy, of course. If you were looking for a person, look for a bar. The more people, the more information. It's on the second floor of that building. So yeah, guys. Um, so part of the other reason I want to like actually jump into was just... Um, yeah, for those of you who have been enjoying following along, um, I want to at least give like a bit of an explanation as to why the Let's Play is just going to come to a complete and abrupt uh, halt. Um, now, one thing I do find that, that was very, very fitting about this is that, like, for those who know the game, like, the first chapter and the first disc, um, 
kind of like wrap up at the exact same time because yeah it's just represented that way throughout the game and i think that's just a really really perfect way um yeah like to me it's just like wow like how like even though the situation like i would have preferred to be able to continue and just play through the, the rest of the game i do think it's very beautiful and just fitting that we kind of were able to wrap up this whole first chunk with the whole like um uh dole fight and all that kind of stuff just bringing all that to a close giving a nice well-rounded sample for those of you unfamiliar with the game or just wanting to kind of follow along for a bit we just wrapped up an epic first chunk and in case anyone is at all familiar with why the snes mini might be doing this like i've played other multi-disc games on the snes mini uh like lunar silver star story complete comes to mind uh, i did a let's play that never had an issue after like loading to the next disc um or maybe it's just like the overall file of the game in general like all the files i mean so if anyone is at all familiar with what might be causing this or how to remedy that i'm all ears feel free to leave it in the comments or whatever the case might be or reach out to me elsewhere um so at this point all i'm really saying is that like i'm kind of like dropping this because no matter what i do the game is not loading at all um when i go to enter rooms and stuff like that so and interestingly enough uh, in the last episode in the Black Castle, this happened like once or tw like, I think it happened once or twice, but just like going back, I was able to actually access those areas. But in this place specifically, this one screen, like all all the the rooms, all the buildings, like just have the same exact thing, and it's just it seems way way more extreme. So I might fiddle with like just seeing if I can like do it or something but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna go so yeah if anyone knows what might be up I would really appreciate it but um, yeah that's kind of that uh, now one thing I will say is like down the road if there is a solution then you can absolutely bet that I'm going to pick up where I left off and it's gonna be amazing because like at that point, it will probably have been like a, pr a pretty lengthy break in between, and so it'll just be that much more exciting just being able to jump back in, pick up the story, start, like legitimately start chapter two, and just go from there. Like I, I'm stoked for that possibility, even though I'm not going. Like I have no expectations, as far as I'm concerned. Like this is the end, and it's probably not gonna be functional. So that's kind of just how I'm viewing it but on the slim chance that it does pan out or someday something happens then that will be a miracle and just so so exciting so anyway i've battled on long enough um what i might even just do is like just go here give as much of a view as possible just by maybe like going up here and just letting this roll for a few minutes so you guys can just take in the sights and the sounds. I really do recommend, I'm gonna actually turn off all these little icons. I really do recommend just appreciating it because yeah, we're not gonna be <laughs> continuing this anytime soon. So anyway, thank you guys so much for following along uh, this whole time. I really appreciate it. I love the feedback and everything and the chats I've been getting into with people about retro RPGs. Um, now, in ways, this kind of does free up um, some playtime because I I know I I have a Lundra on the go, and I wanted to also start Lunar Silver, or, not Silver Star Story, uh, Lunar Two Eternal Blue, and I want to get Chrono Cross going big time. So I'm not sure how soon I'll get to those, but this one is technically off the plate, so that kind of open opens things up. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. You guys have a stellar one. Enjoy the rest of the, uh, the few minutes that I'll let this go for, and we will see you next time.